Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leap Classes. I am Kanchi. Children, as you know, we have started our board booster series for section A, and two videos are already there. Today, we are doing part three of this. In today's part, I have taken the topic library classes. Children, you know you have four chapters in your syllabus and in section A, and in section A, the questions will come from all these four chapters. and definitely i'll try to make more videos and along with this the programming videos will be also there very soon i'll be starting right and my advice to all of you when you are watching this video when you see the question on the screen pause the video find the answer yourself sometimes maybe you have to recall the definition sometime you have to do some calculation so find the answer yourself and then Tell me your answer with mine after resuming the video. Right, children. So we start with the first question today. Predict the output. System dot out dot print character dot two lower case and the value is given one within single quotes. Children, all of us we know that character dot two lower case is a function which is used to convert upper case letter into lower case. Right. If the argument, if the parameter which is given here is upper case letter, then it converts that to lower case. And for all other arguments, all other values which are given here, it returns the same value. So one is not upper case letter. So what will be the output? It will return one only. So option B is the correct answer. Right, children? We move on to the next question. Which of the following is the correct statement to convert an integer n to a string? Children, we have done the functions in library classes videos. Please go through that. For this, int n equals to integer dot parse int. This option is correct. No. String dot parse string. No. Int n value of no. So what is the correct answer? String dot value of m. This is a function which is used to convert int type to a string value. Right, children? So here, option D is the correct answer. Before we proceed further, let me tell you something very important. As your exams are round the corner, to help you with the final preparation, An Academy brings its Power Pack Revision Series. for icsc 910th and iisc 11th 12th classes where the top educators will be taking the revision series and they will be focusing on the important questions as well as the previous year questions also and the classes will be conducted every alternate day also if you wish you can join any batch according to your preference you can opt for any subscription a minimum of 3 month subscription is also available and to avail 10% special discount you can use my referral code leaf children let me tell you some key points of an academy you will have live classes then you will have doubt sessions you can ask your doubts via raise a hand feature you will get pdf notes you will have test and quizzes with the analysis of your performance and obviously recording of all live classes with unlimited access and all the subjects and content under one subscription and children one big exciting news about an academy is that it is opening its very first an academy store in pusa road new delhi do visit the store and experience an academy offline world and learn together children i have put all these links of an academy in the description box please do check that and use my refer code leaf for unlocking it for free and if you want you can get 10% off on any subscription which you buy for an academy right children so wish you all the very best for your preparation question number 3 System and math classes are contained in which package? IU, Util, LANG, or API? Yes, yes, you are right. LANG is the correct answer. We move on to the next question. Question number four: When an object of a class is converted to a primitive data type, is known as 
ऑटो बॉक्सिंग अनबॉक्सिंग एक्सप्लिसिट कन्वर्जन और इम्प्लिसिट children you know explicit and implicit these two conversions are used to convert one primitive data type to another primitive data type and auto boxing and unboxing these two terms are used for conversion primitive to non primitive and non primitive to primitive data type so here an object of a class what is this this is non primitive data type we want to convert this to primitive data type So, what will be the correct answer? Auto boxing or unboxing? Before I tell you the answer, let me tell you one shortcut method to remember this. This I always tell to my class children also, right? A P and U N. These two you remember. A stands for auto boxing. P stands for primitive. So, the process of auto boxing converts primitive to non-primitive, right? That means in auto boxing, primitive data type is converted to non primitive, and U N U N U stands for unboxing, N stands for non primitive. So in unboxing, non primitive data type is converted to primitive data type. So object of a class is non primitive, right? And we are converting to primitive. So out of this, which one? Yes, unboxing. Non primitive to primitive. Unboxing. non primitive to primitive auto boxing primitive to non primitive so option b is the correct answer we move on to question number 5 system dot out dot print character dot is digit minus 3 children when you use character dot is digit function character dot is digit what is that syntax here the parameter is written within the bracket after character dot is digit if it is constant within single quotes or the char variable can be written here so character dot is digit minus 3 this is not the correct syntax right so you will get error when you try to execute this particular statement option c is the correct answer we move on to question number 6 which of the following is an example of auto box children just now we discussed auto boxing converts primitive to non primitive so here if you see char is primitive data type int is also primitive data type character this is your wrapper class name so this option is the correct option which will convert the single char into the character wrapper class right that is object of character wrapper class. we move on to question number 7 the package that contains wrapper classes is imported by default by default means we don't have to write import statement in the program to include that particular package right so which package is there you know that the package which contains wrapper class is lang package and we never write import java.lang in the program this package is imported by default so option a is the correct answer right children we move on to the next question predict the output int a equals to 32 char b equals to a char c equals to char of b plus a let us solve it here so here it will be char b plus a b is upper case a plus 32 right now when you will solve it it will be char of a plus 32 when we are doing adding one integer with one char value always the sky value of that character is taken so the sky value of capital a is 65 plus 32 this will be 97 so char of 97 is small a right that is lower case a so the value of c variable that is char type is lower case a now here int b equals to b plus 1 what is the value of b b is capital a plus 1 again sky code of this will be taken this is 65 plus 1 this will be 66 so the value of b is 66 the value of c is lower case a now we come to print statement 
children always the output is generated using print statement you may have many calculation steps in the program but the result will be given only using print statement right so here character dot is digit c what is the value of c is lower case a is it a digit no so it will return false plus leaf this is l e a f leaf will be displayed plus d what is the value of d we have calculated is 66 children in such type of questions i would recommend you to find the answer first yourself and then tally the answer with the options given and if your answer is present in the given options that means you are 100 percent absolutely correct right so false leaf 66 option c is the correct answer right children next we have a class is also known as non-primitive data type composite data type user defined data type or all of the above children the definition of class you have done in many ways so all of us we know class is non-primitive data type it is composite also it is user defined so option d is the correct answer that is all of the above next we have the last question today System dot out dot print in character dot two upper case small case a plus one. Two upper case is a function which converts the given lower case letter into upper case. So two upper case of lower case a it will be a plus one. Again, what will happen here? The sky value of capital A will be added and that is 65 plus 1 so the output will be 66 that is option c is the correct answer children i hope these 10 questions were quite easy and these will help you in the preparation of your subject on this topic right so soon we will be doing more videos on programming on mcq question and i wish you all the very best for your preparation if you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, keep solving the exercises. God bless you children.